After the fall of the Tang Dynasty, the Jiaduxi was in the central districts of the country's central plain. One after another, the kingdoms are established and divided again. This period is called the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. Jiaduxi means during the Tang Dynasty of China, a government official who established an army on the outskirts and ruled the region or its chief position. In the midst of such chaos, in 960, Zhao Guangyin, one of the Jiaduxi, founded the Song Dynasty and reunified the central plain. The Song Dynasty made Kaifeng its capital. Jiaduxi power was weakened by adopting the civil rule, governing by law and reason rather than by military force. In addition, the powers of the prime ministers were reduced, and the palace guards and the bodyguards protecting the emperor were strengthened, and warfare was introduced into the civil service exam to establish the emperor's dictatorship. During the Tang Dynasty, people who passed the civil service exam had to take an interview to get a government position. In the interview, applicants from prestigious schools had an advantage in getting good results because they were evaluated based on their personal presentation, speaking and writing skills, and judgment. However, in the Song Dynasty, a civil service exam was given directly by the emperor and official posts were assigned according to the result. Because results were ultimately decided by the emperor, the outcome of the civil service exam had a great impact on subsequent promotions. Thus, the civil service exam resulted in the inducement of allegiance to the emperor from applicants for government roles. In the Song Dynasty, a method for creating farmland was developed by enclosing an embankment in a wetland and kill cars, pumping machines that supplied water using power were widely distributed. Rice farming, rice planting using the transplanting method, in which rice is first grown elsewhere, and then transplanted to a paddy field in spring, had become common. Champa rice was introduced from the Champa Kingdom, which is Vietnam today. Champa rice is drought tolerant and has a short growing season, allowing it to be harvested twice a year. These innovations improved agricultural productivity. Productivity south of the river greatly surpassed that of northern China. As a result, the downstream area of the Changjiang River grew into the largest breadbasket and granary area. Tenant farming, in which a landlord owns a large amount of land that is cultivated by farmers, and the harvest is divided, spread widely. In the Song Dynasty, coal was widely used and iron, porcelain, and silk industries develop, along with commerce based on the development of agricultural products and handicrafts. As a result, the number of long-distance traders and intermediaries increased, and merchant banks and artisans formed an agricultural cooperative called Jap, 
and began to seek profits. As commerce flourished, the manufacture and distribution of coins increased, and some coins were circulated not only in Goryeo and Japan, but also in Southeast Asia and beyond, and banknotes such as Jiaoji and Shuji were used. Meanwhile, in the Song Dynasty, maritime trade was very developed as ocean navigation became easier due to the development of shipbuilding and the compass. In addition, as the northern nations became strong and land trade became difficult, the proportion of sea trade increased even more, and sea trade routes were formed from Goryeo and Japan, as well as to Southeast Asia, India, Persia and Arabia, The Song Dynasty established Shibosi to manage maritime trade in ports, such as Guangzhou and Guangzhou to secure financial income. The Shibosi was a government office in charge of maritime trade-related affairs, established in China from the Tang and Ming dynasties, Its main task was to manage trade with Shiboshi foreign ships visiting China and to collect taxes duties from foreign merchants. Through trade, tea, silk, ceramics, and coins were exported, and gold, mercury, and spices were imported. In the Song Dynasty, as the number of educational institutions and lecture halls increased, and the civil service exam system was strengthened, the number of gentry appointed as bureaucrats began to grow. Unlike the nobility who depend on hereditary privileges, the gentry and Confucian knowledge and pride in their responsibility to be loyal to the emperor and rule the world together. The landlord class, which controlled the tenant farmers, also ruled Dianhu. In the Song Dynasty, exegetical studies focused only on the literal interpretation of Buddhist scriptures, while gentry deepened the study of Confucianism. A new tendency to explore all things in the essence of the human world began to appear. A compilation of new Confucianism was collected by Xu Shi. Neo Confucianism emphasized the justification theory that rationalized the distinction between upper and lower ranks, such as lord and vassal, father and son, landowner and tenant farmer and Huawei theory, which regarded China as the center of civilization and surrounding countries as barbaric. This ideology was a reflection of Song's external relationships in which it was prone to defensive. By the invasion of northern peoples such as the Gitan, Liao, Xia, and Gyum. These external relations stimulated national consciousness and history books began to be actively complied. In particular, Zizi Tonjian, written by Shima Guang, serves as an early example of a chronological oral historiography. In the Song Dynasty, the culture of the common people developed against the background of the development of commerce and growth of cities. Kaifeng, the capital of Northern Song, and Linnan, the capital of Southern Song, prospered as metropolises boasting a population of 1 million, and the economic standard of the urbanized also increased. 
science and technology also made rapid progress. The development of the printing press increased the publication of books, which contributed to the development of the public knowledge and culture. It was around this time that weapons and pelagic voyage techniques developed through the use of gunpowder and compasses. The inventions of the Song Dynasty were later transmitted to Europe through the Islamic world and greatly influenced the change and development of European society. In this way, in the Song Dynasty, each field of society developed according to the civil administration principle. But civil servants were given preference over military officers, which weakened national defense power. As Song's defense power weakened, the surrounding peoples began to increase their power. The Kittens Yelio Obaji took advantage of the chaos after the end of the Tang Dynasty to unify the tribe and ascend to the throne of emperor in 916. After that, Hitin, who destroyed the Bali Kingdom, occupied the 16 prefectures south of the Great Wall. Having gained a strong national power, Liao began to oppress the Song, and in return for guaranteeing peace, Liao received enormous commodities and made peace with the Song. We call this the Pact of Chenyuan, that is, peace bought with money. In 1038, when the Tangas invaded West Xia and even the Song, the Song provided enormous amounts of supplies, just as they had done with the Khitan. Song began to suffer from continuous financial difficulties. Due to the enormous military expenditures caused by the continuous pressure from the northern peoples and the burden of sending supplies to Liao and West Xia each year, Accordingly, Song appointed Wang Anxi, a reform politician for the expansion of financial income, national prosperity, and military power to implement the new law. However, the reform failed due to opposition from proponents of the old law made up of conservative bureaucrats, large landowners, and a big merchant class. National power became weaker as a strife broke out between proponents of the new and old laws. At the beginning of the 12th century, Aguda of the Jurchen people united the tribe and founded the Jin dynasty. Jin joined with Song to attack Liao, after which Jin defeated Liao alone. Furthermore, they attacked the Song Dynasty, captured the capital Kaifeng, and took the emperor prisoner, an event which is called the Jinkang Incident. The Jin Dynasty, which took over the northern part of the Huahi River, moved its capital to Chengdu, present-day Beijing, and took control of North China. The Song Dynasty lost northern China to the Jin Dynasty and moved its capital to Linan, present-day Hangzhou. At this time, the latter was called Southern Song and the former was called Northern Song. The Southern Song was economically prosperous thanks to development south of the river but was unable to maintain its existence. The new Mongols from the north had destroyed the Jin dynasty and invaded southern Song, driving on without stopping. The southern Song resisted to the end, but eventually fell to the Yuan dynasty established by the Mongols in 1279 
Thank you for watching the video, Song Dynasty provided by History and Current Events. I'm Mia and Helena Katie. Leah and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.